and get started. All right. Mr. Arnold, uh, begin by telling us why you are in the Department of Corrections. Yeah, I've seen here for uh, burglary and escape. Uh, what did you burgle? A uh, house. <laughs> Cut off. Whose I, house was it? I don't know. Just a, a random house? What did you take? TV, a couple of game systems, and some liquor. How'd you get caught? I was uh, running down the street with the TV. <laughs> How big of a TV was it? 46 inch. Wow. How big was it? 46 inch. Oh my goodness. You were easy to spot then. Yeah. Escape, <laughs> were, you, were you on house arrest? Yeah. You I just cut off your band? Yeah. What, why, why did you cut it off? Because I got, uh, I got caught having sex in the school bathroom and I got expelled. That was a violation. So then you cut it off and took off? Why were you having sex in the school bathroom? Because <laughs> I was on house arrest and uh, I, I, my mama wouldn't let the girl come to my house. So, mm -hmm. so it was consensual, it was your girlfriend or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Very romantic. <laughs> <coughs> All right, talk about some of the things uh, that you've learned here. Uh, uh, that's gonna make you a better person when you leave here. Well, I learned how to control my anger and bite my tongue and stuff in that nature. What does that mean, bite my tongue? Like, stop, like, for instance, like, the staff, like, if I feel like they're trying to be funny, instead of me cussing them out, I just hold it and hold my tongue, like, not say nothing, just walk away. So you've learned to be quiet and walk away from issues rather than to yeah. fight back or say something negative. Yeah. Very good. Um, what are some of the other group, the programs or groups you've completed? Uh, like why try? Tell me, what was your favorite metaphor? Uh, jumping the hurdles. Why? Because I feel like I jumped a lot of hurdles while I, while I was in here. What are some of the hurdles you've jumped? Uh, like, uh, basically, like, holding my tongue, controlling my anger, and going to school. I used to hate going to school, but now I really don't mind going to school. Mr. Stowell, how's he doing in school? Calendra, you have a 4.0 behavior average. You've earned some credits while here. You know how many? I think like three. You've earned three, and you have the potential to earn two more before you leave. How many? Had you earned before you came here? Zero. Zero? Why? So I wasn't going to school. Like I said, I, I didn't like going to school, period. And I just never had a good interest. When I was younger, I did, but now I really don't. Let me <coughs> ask you this. Now that you've realized some success, will you be able to carry that over back to the public school? Yeah. I, I think, like, when I go back to school, I'll probably uh, stay, stay in classes more and do my work much as I can. When you first came to us, we had a little bit of trouble keeping you in class. Yeah. What changed? I just got tired of sitting here wasting my time. You know, if you stand if you're in here, you might as well get something out of it. There was a period of time where I had to go looking for you in the hallways because you would just leave class without permission. That's been quite a while ago, and you've done a good job. You've earned credits. You maintain a solid behavior average. What high school do you plan on going to when you leave? Uh, probably how many high school. That's where you went before you came here, right? Okay. Well, you'll have a move-in case conference when you return. You're going to have to let them know what are things that have helped you while you were here, because you have an individual education plan. And you have some goals that you've reached, so that's great. And there's have been accommodations that have helped you reach those goals. So you'll need to communicate to those folks and we can help participate in that conference. What has been helpful while you've been here? You just need to let them know that, okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, a while back, you received a conduct report for assault on a student. <coughs> uh, you pleaded not guilty, although you were found guilty. Your plea was not guilty to the hearing board. Do you uh, still maintain 
that you were not guilty, that you did not assault that student? Yeah, I was guilty. Okay, thank you. I was looking at some of your aftercare uh, plan calendar, and what I noticed is that it says that you may have ha had a substance abuse problem. Did you have a substance abuse problem prior to coming here? Yeah, I, I had a substance abuse problem. What kind of drugs were you taking? Uh, a bomb fluid and uh, alcohol and marijuana. Wow. Do um, you still want to do embalming fluid? No. I, or any of the other? I really don't have a, a great desire for drugs anymore because I didn't been so long without them. So. Do you like being clear-headed versus yeah. being high? Um, it, it's going to be imperative that you go to counseling for, for substance abuse, you know, because it's a lot easier when you're on the streets to get uh, drugs and marijuana and, and alcohol to keep you clean. Do you um, have some positive peers picked out? Any yeah. kind of programs that you're, that you're going to attend? Yeah, when I get out, I'm going to try to get a job and maybe go to the YMCA in my spare time. Is that going to see a mentor or just to work out? Uh, kind of both, because I have a mentor already. Uh-huh. Over the, at YMCA? No, nah, he's, uh, he's a police officer. Oh, you have a mentor already? Okay, great. With the Marin County Therapy, you're going to participate in the AIM program? Yeah. I have a, a question I want to ask Mr. Stillwell. I saw in his packet that in 2010 he was at the Indiana Developmental Training Center. Mm -hmm. Would there be a purpose for him to continue that kind of a program or has that already been resolved and is not, no, not any longer needed? It, it's my understanding that's been resolved okay. when he went to Thomas Howe. Okay, very good. And that would be a decision um, the public school would need to make if okay. For whatever reason you get there and you're not as successful as you should be. You remember when you were at the training center, developmental yes. training center? Just a couple of years ago, not quite that long. Uh, the reason I ask that question is because they can be very, very helpful to you. And so if when you were involved in that program before, you felt like it was helpful to you? Yes. When you leave, if you develop those same kinds of needs, that program is still available to you. Okay. 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 Arnold, what's your long-term goals? What, what are your career goals? <clears throat> well, I want to be a gynecologist. A what? A gynecologist. A who? Oh. A what cosmetologist or a gynecologist? A gynecologist. I get them kind of You know what a gynecologist is? Yeah. What is it? Uh, deliver babies. Oh, OBGYN. That'd be a little bit easy. Okay. We're going to have to buckle down and get some credits and get to studying. Yeah, A lot of science and math. <laughs> get to studying. Do you have a backup plan in case med school doesn't work out? Uh, I, I want to be a barber if that doesn't work. Okay. Because uh, we get back to the high school work barber. with your, uh, your aftercare and see what's really uh, ideal and what's the best options for you. Uh, I know there are some, some trade schools. There's one in Indianapolis, a barber school, isn't there? Yeah. Hmm. Who are you going to live with? My mother. Your mom? Okay. Is that your uh, adoptive mother? Yes. Okay. Very good. That's who you were living with before. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any more questions? Anyone on the panel? Do you have any questions for us? Nope. You do not? Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have you leave the room so we can have a discussion before we take our vote, okay? All right. All right. We'll see you back in a minute. Okay. You just said a gynecologist. <laughs> I thought, I thought he meant cosmetologist, that's why I didn't ask. Oh, because you do you like barber school? It's in his no. packet that that's what he would like to do, become a barber. Okay. 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 Okay.
Kind of. I need that. So he meant cosmetologist. No, no he, he, meant meant gynecologist. Gynecologist. he meant gynecologist. He meant gynecologist. Special. All right, let's let's yeah. let's right. focus on the issue at hand here. Um, he has basically done what we've asked him to do. He completed the Staying Sharp program. Uh, he attended the peace learning groups. Of course, he did Y try. Um, they completed all the goals that we've asked of him. He's doing fine. They made everybody come out here. And I like the fact that he likes going to school. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it, it is great that he's earning the credits, and five credits is a lot for the time period he's been here. And um, when he said that he decided he would turn around because he wanted to get something out of the time he was here, that shows that he can reflect back on what he's done, and he can also look at the future. And that's a good sign, I think. Eric? I agree. Uh, despite we did have to move him over to uh, B unit to kind of slow him down a little bit uh, and to kind of uh, some personality conflicts in the units. I think he's done really well over there. Uh, I think you know he's been able to focus on his behavior and his, his last couple of treatment goals. Uh, and been able to work yeah, through them. So I think he's done what we've asked. Uh, I know with the Marion County program, they'll be very uh, involved in his aftercare. So I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of services already in place for him. When he does get out of here. Okay. Desi, do you want to address the issue of him being over in the behavior modification unit? Yeah. <clears throat> you talking about when he comes back in? Yeah, talk yeah. about that. Because he was under investigation and nothing was really ever documented, mm -hmm. but it, ever, it wasn't ever totally not either, so we've got a few mm -hmm. concerns, but he and I have talked about that. Okay. Any other issues of concern? I'll be meeting with the special education coordinator. Um, the only concern I would have is the school that he's going back to is quite large. And he's had a lot of academic and behavior supports here. So I'm going to try to make sure that we can have some input in that move-in case conference okay. because it has benefited him a great deal, uh, the supports here. So afraid that he could get lost in the system, if you will. So if we give them an idea of what has worked, here, then I think it would be a much easier transition for right. him. Well, and we find with a lot of the young men who come here, they do well in our program because it is smaller classrooms, more intense Absolutely. interventions with the teachers, the counselors and the custody staff are all involved in that treatment process. And so they're basically surrounded uh, with folks who are focused on their needs, their issues, and uh, success. When they leave, um, all of the individuals who are working with them are not necessarily that closely knit as our team would be here. And so there could be the opportunity for the ball to be dropped. And so sure. that's good for you to do that. Okay, I'll make sure I okay. take care of that. Okay, all right. So all right, thank you a long time. we're all in agreement? I think okay, so. Okay, we'll go ahead and bring them back in. Just when you guys talk about B unit, we just refer to it as SEG all the time. So if you talk to him about SEG okay. instead of B unit, because then I'd have to have to describe what that okay. is, behavioral modification. Well, we're going to use both words. Okay, yeah. that's great, yeah. as long as you call it okay. We use both yeah. words, actually, yeah. Linda, when we interview the kids down there. Because we don't want folks thinking he's leaving from SEG. Right. Yeah. right. Thank you for coming back in. We are uh, going to take a vote, but before we do that, we want to talk just a little bit about you being uh, in the behavior modification unit, the, s the segregation area, not in a negative way, in a positive way, as to uh, how that benefited you being in that unit. And we'll have Ms. Price uh, start off with sharing that since she's the supervisor in that area. Do you remember when we brought you down? Do you, m do you understand why you came down? Yeah. Tell me why you came down. Slow extortion. And what was the other word I told you we were looking into? Uh, I forgot. Bullying? Yeah, bullying. Okay. Basically, we had a lot of reports. Your name came up a lot about <laughs> some bullying and some extortion, that you were threatening kids for stuff. And um, there were kids that were threatening to retaliate against you, and there were kids that were scared of you. So we were trying to sort all that out. So we brought you down there. And in the investigation, they never really found 
either way, documented yes or no. That was just kind of a lot of talk. So what we decided to do was work with you down there to finish your program and make sure that we gave you a lot of support and finished out your program. So I um, wanted to make sure you understood that. You've done well down there, except for the one day that you, you climbed the fence and didn't come in off the rec pad. And um, that was really your only bad choice you made down there. So you've done well down there. Do you have any questions about that process? Because that's my only concern is that we never really got a good understanding of if you were doing those things or not. So if you, do, if you were doing those things um, and you go back out and you're a kid that bullies and threatens people to take their things, then you go out to a public high school and you do that, then what kind of problems is that going to cause you? Probably get arrested or something. Right. So I want to make sure you've we've done as best as we can to teach you not to do that. Yeah. So what can you say about that? Uh, when I get out, uh, I don't think, I'm, I'm not going to have a desire to bully and extort people for things. I don't know, I just, I guess I learned that while I was in here, but I didn't think I broke the habit. What made you fall into it in here? Uh, I've seen everybody else doing it. I wanted to have what they had, so I did what they did. So what if you want what the other kids have at how? I'm going to work for it. Okay. Are you going to have people that if you don't understand how to get it, are you going to have people that you can call and talk to and use appropriate means? Like here, you could have come to staff. You could have come to us and said, you know, there are things that I, I don't understand or there are things that I need help with here or things that I see other kids have that I don't have. But you didn't choose to come to us, so what's going to make you choose to go to people for help when you get out? When I go home, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a good support system to support me. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Price. Go ahead. Uh, I vote to approve. I agree. I vote to approve. I agree. I vote to approve. Congratulations, Mr. Arnold. You have your promotion to release. Thank you. Thank you. I have some questions for you before you leave. There have been some staff who have helped you since you've been here. Would you like to share with us their names? Uh, Johnson. Which Johnson? Uh, short, light skin. E. Johnson. Ernest Johnson. Yeah. Man, he helped me a lot and kept me okay. out of trouble. And Robinson, down in Okay. How about okay. counselors? Price, Blake. And teachers? Uh, McIntyre and the Hargit, the gym teacher. Okay, before you leave, I'm just going to repeat something that you said here that I thought was noteworthy and I wrote it down. You said, I will work for it. Remember you said that. Because if you keep that thought in your head, you'll do well. Congratulations. Good job, Arnold. Did you want to shake our hand? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Like your hair. It's like, oh, no. Congratulations. Good job.
How long has it been since you've seen your mom? Like a year. Many years since I've seen my mom. Here, let me get this out of the way. I'll be back. The fake Washington. I'll be y'all for that in your shop, do ya? Do you have a box of stuff in here, Mr. Clark? Upstairs. Oh, yeah. Civilian service. Who made this work today? Do you understand this? There's no rest for the weary here. Are you excited? 40 seconds. Both. I'm, uh, I'm happy, excited, and nervous all at the same time. You gonna miss this place? No. Don't be that excited. I'm never gonna miss this place. I hate it here. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Here's the Andre, you almost look cute. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. Nothing much. I like your outfit. I don't. Uh, your hair has grown. I know. So, so. I got taller too. Or you got yeah, shorter. Yeah, you are tall. No, I ain't got shorter. <laughs> now, how about that? Oh, let me hug you again. It's good to see you. I hope you do right. I am. Okay, then. So you ready to go home? Yep. You gonna do things different? We gotta talk about this now. You gonna do things different? Yeah. You gonna, I mean, your way of thinking, how is it now? Positive. Positive? So you do know if you, I mean, if anything go wrong, you know I'm there, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not your friend, I'm your mother, okay? You need to talk, we, we can talk. There's nothing we can't talk about, okay? I just want you to come home, I want you to do What's right? I'm getting emotional. But I want you to do what's right. I want you to come home and end up back in here because this ain't the place you need to be. You need to be with me because I'm your mother. Dear, not. I want to raise you, not them. And I, I love all my kids and I love you too. This ain't where I want to come and see my child. This ain't where I want to come and greet you and hug you and tell you I love you. I want to be able to wake up and come to you and say I love you. I don't want to have to travel 20 miles to tell you that. And I do want you to do what's right. And if you feel like you're getting ready to do wrong, come and talk to me, okay? Don't, don't just go and do what everybody else wants you to do. You do what you know that I want you to do what's right that's going to keep you out of here, okay? I love you, and I want you home. Oh. <laughs>
So that was a good two minutes of room tone if you need it. No worries. Just get one more sound by with him, you know, like we did with Kenneth. I'd like to get them coming out of the door and, and you know. Okay. Okay. something, buddy. It's kind of rude, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of rude of me, <laughs> but I'm over it. Thank 
I'm going to have you guys come from the front door. Like, it looks like you're coming out, and we'll just get you walking out. Yeah, How's that? Gonna, we're going to take that I'm trash can you, fine. Really? Go fuck you back. Can you film this one? Oh. <laughs> Okay, everybody watch your reflections. If you see me in the glass, I see you. Always better to be behind me. Always better to be Come on. <laughs> Thank you. 